Oh, this is quite a change from the Middle East. And it's our first time in the Caribbean. Let's change to the island. Okay, I'm heading straight. I've never eaten a boat. We've eaten lamb. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, this is not a bad welcome. Are you ready? I mean, what a location. <laughs> Welcome to Antigua and welcome to Smiling Harry's. Oh, well, this is quite a change from the Middle East. Welcome to one of the smallest countries on earth. Welcome to the Caribbean. Welcome to Antigua and Barbuda. After leaving Bahrain, we went home after four months of hectic travel and had a few weeks to chill out before getting invited out by the Antiguan Tourism Board to spend the week in absolute paradise, the British speaking nation. And we're here for the next six days. Beaches, beers, boats. We needed this. Well, this definitely isn't Iraq. It sure is a switch up from what we have been doing the last couple of months, but it was a perfect eight hour direct flight from London landing on a beautiful island and um, we're actually staying at Hodges Bay so we are going to give you a room tour and a hotel tour this morning going to be completely different this this view we get to wake up to every day for the next oh, five days i just yeah when you look outside it is just absolutely unbelievable and it's our first time in the caribbean so this is so everything's so I new like for we both of us holiday. this is going to be like a mini holiday for us so obviously huge balcony and then we have bifolding doors right that lead you out onto that view. Unbelievable. So inside our room, obviously we have our sofa, we have our TV. It's quite a huge room for just the two of us. Um, massive double bed, desk area, and of course, we have the bathroom at the back and all of our storage. Um, I mean, you- This is the crowning glory. Look right? at that from there. And we get, to, we get to stay here for the next week. I have definitely stayed in some worse places. This is absolutely out. Outrageous. I feel like the plan today is to do absolutely nothing and chill out in the hotel this morning and then we're going to head out this afternoon, find some stingrays, hopefully find my first rum punch. But the decision, the hardest decision of the day is this pool or the beach. This place just gets better and better. This is our private beach. And apparently we have a little beach bar here in the pool. And there's like some strange astronaut type thing in the distance. I, uh, I think I could get used to this. I think we're the only ones stupid enough to come in to the hot tub. I'm not even sure why there's a hot tub in the hot sun of the Caribbean, but I'm here for it. It's an infinity hot tub. We've got an infinity swimming pool behind me. Oh, we have a swim up bar and behind me we have- I'm in space. I don't know why we've got a spaceman. We have a spaceman as well. It turns out that this tiny island that we were looking at in the distance is called Prickly Pear. And the lady at the swim up bar said that we can ask and the hotel will give us a speedboat ride across to our own private island. I still don't really get the spaceman though. Hello. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at this. Our own private speedboat. Our own little speedboat off our own little private island. It's a pickly pack. Thank you. No problem, no problem. So Thank you. I think I've got to get you doing it. I've, I've got to get you doing it. Come on, you're the rapper. No, he's the rapper. Who's the rapper? Welcome to Prickly Pear, where it's sunny every day of the year. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. We're going to practice and then come back. That was a super short three minute private speedboat ride to our very own Prickly Pear. 
It is beautiful. Like Tiny I wasn't expecting island. this at all. With a bar, which is even better. Huge bar. We've got like cabanas. You've got sunbeds. You've got a little powdery, gorgeous beach, and the bluest water. Cheers. Cheers. Obviously the first stop had to be the bar and we got a carrier bar, a Caribbean lager that we haven't tried before. I'm not sure how expensive these beers are going to be so I'll probably stick to just the one but what hotel has its own private island with its own private beach club with the clearest water you could ever see enjoying my first Caribbean beer, Caraval, before we get back on the boat to go and see some stingrays. I'm sorry about this video, it seems like a hard life, doesn't it? Cheers. And after around a 30 minute drive, we have made it to the northeast side of the island to the famous Stingray City. Supposedly, this is the number one thing to do in the whole of Antigua, and we are about to jump on one of these tiny boats behind us to take us out to a sandbar to meet some stingrays. This is beautiful. You have like a little uh, traditional house sort of behind us, you're surrounded by mangroves and little islands dotted around. I mean, we should be heading on one of these boats soon. We are living on island time at the minute. <laughs> but stingrays, they are flat, they shape fish. On top, they got two eyes. Behind each of the eyes, they got a hole. They are not the mouth. They are called spiracles. Let's go find some stingrays. <laughs> Thank you. Just an eight minute boat ride and we have made it to Stingray City. You can see them just floating past us already. The water is super shallow. It's almost like a, a sandbar. Um, so that just means that they just hover and stay around here. You can definitely tell that it's the most popular thing. Yes, as you can hear. The island of Antigua. Like we've got this little spot here. You turn around. <laughs> and it's just like a fight for a stingray. A fight for it? Well, there's a lot of stingrays, but yeah. We're in, we're doing this. We've been told that we have to shuffle our feet so we don't accidentally step on a stingray. But we are now surrounded by about 40 of them and we have giant ones just swimming amongst us. There are some people getting photos, picking them up. I probably wouldn't recommend that. Just come in and let them, wow, I'll show you what we're looking at. Let them swim amongst you. This is ridiculous. I have never felt any like it when a stingray comes past you for some reason they just want to brush your leg and it's like a slimy they I give mean, you a kiss you, they give you a little you pulled, a on you pulled, I've, a I've pulled a stingray <laughs> i'm in the middle of the caribbean surrounded by these tiny islands on a little sandbar surrounded by stingrays we've actually been told that it's a common misconception i think because of steve Irwin, that people believe that they can hit you with their tail, which is sort of like the venomous part, the sting of the stingray, but apparently they can't move it at all. It's like having a knife on the floor. If you tread on it, that's your fault, you were stupid, but they can't actually hit you with their tail. He's throwing food to you. <laughs> look at these guys, look. They are ginormous. Oh my gosh. Ooh! It hit me. Some of the biggest I have ever seen. Like, that is no joke. They are absolutely huge. And they come out of nowhere. Like, you don't know that they're around you, and then all of a sudden, BAM! My friend. What is it that you feed the stingrays? Squid. And is that what they'll eat in their natural environment, the squid? Yeah. 
We're going to help you feed the fish. I wouldn't call him a fish, Molly. Squid. There's nothing here. What's wrong? Scared me. Right. Okay. Keep it. Hide your thumb. Hide your thumb. Hide your thumb. Like this. They just suck it up. Yeah, yeah. We're surrounded, Molly. Absolutely surrounded. Do you know what? They're like gentle giants, right? Oh. Wow. They just, they're coming to say hey. They're very friendly. Touching my toes. Yeah, this is insane. Cheers. Cheers. This is how you do it in Antigua with a rum punch. Let me just taste it first. Stingrays and rum punch. Wow, that is strong. The stingrays really did um, exceed my expectations. It was pretty remarkable, but that. I feel like I'm here for this. Though. That's refreshing. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can have this one. No, because you told want a bunch of beers. I feel like this trip, cheers, <laughs> is going to be a lot of cheers. It's from rum punch and stingrays to Redudley beer, the official beer of Antigua. I think it's brewed in St. John's, the capital, and we're actually now at Smiling Harry's to try not just local beer, some local food. And apparently, we are a two minute walk from the best beach in the whole of Antigua and Barbuda. Fun fact 365 beaches in the one a day in the entire country. I've got a rate it, haven't I? Do you know what? It's nice. Is it good? It's not too strong. Well, Dudley, 7 out of 10. Welcome to Antigua and welcome to Smiling Harry's. So the plan before our local traditional Antiguan food comes is to walk down to the Half Moon Bay, which the locals tell us is the best beach on the entire island. And I mean, Look at this, you can see where they come from. You've got that perfect half moon shake beach. Unfortunately, there's a lot of seaweed going on at the minute. You've got a tiny little beach bar behind us. And this is what you come to the Caribbean for. This is what you come to Antigua for. 365 beaches, a beach for every single day of the year. Impeccable. Look at this, this is why you take a local's recommendation and come to supposedly the best beach in the entire country, apart from the seaweed. Apart from the seaweed, ignore that. And you pretty much got a few people here. Get it to yourself. And behind us, there's a little beach bar. More we're waiting for our food, it'd be rude not to get a little drink. And this is quintessential Caribbean little beach shack. Selling all sorts, I hope. Hello, my friend, can we get two curry? Please, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, like Cheers, thank you. This is what I'm talking about. You leave Molly waiting for the food and you head down to the best beach in the entire country. I've got myself a Carib, first time at trying a Carib. And actually, I paid in US dollars, so it's four US dollars or 10, I think. East Caribbean dollars, something like that. It still has the queen on it. So I think for about one US dollar, you're looking at two Caribbean. But if you find a local place like this, you can come, have a beer, sit on the best beach in the entire country, and have the cheapest beer so far that I've found. While Molly waits for the food. It doesn't get any better. Now Matt is back. Yeah, you said that my mouth is on fire. I got the homebrew no hot sauce I mean, no flavor, like, made like, in Antigua like, on top of my jerk pork, big my rice. Yeah, yeah, I, don't I don't know if you can tell, but I'm you actually dying. It's yeah, yeah, I overestimated, <laughs> underestimated how hot that was going to be. Nah, it is that. too hot. The pork is good. Here we go. Thank you. Oh my god. She has one too. Here's mine. Can't really get more Caribbean. <laughs> and curry goat and a well, Dudley. I don't really know how to eat it. I think I'm just gonna get Let me look. straight curry goat, yeah. a little bit of rice. I've never eaten goat. I've eaten lamb, 
Exactly. You've never had goat milk? No. I don't know if I'm eating one though. It's still it's on the bone, so it's on my shirt now. I don't know if I'm eating bone or what. Let's do it. Some beans. It's good. It's yeah? Soft. What's it taste like? Chicken? Beef? Go. <laughs> Good morning from paradise. We definitely had one too many with Dudley beers for lunch yesterday and then just completely crashed. We're definitely on island time. In the evenings, everything seems to go to sleep very, very early, but we're up. We've come to Jolly Harbour and we are heading to the twin sister of Antigua and that is Barbuda. We're actually doing a private charter. We're very lucky. I think the other ways to get there, a local ferry or a 15 minute propelled flight. But somewhere over there, I'm not sure yet, island time, is our boat that will take us, I think, on the 90 minute journey to the twin sister, Barbuda. Jolly Harbour is pretty insane. Definitely out of our price range. You should see some, some of them of are these ridiculous. Boats. There are some uh, huge ones. Some rich people around there. There's some definitely rich people, but this is ours. We are going on Bear Vibes. Um, I quite like the name of the boat, and the company's I think called like Barefoot or something. So yeah, we're Barefoot in Barbuda with Bear Vibes. Or Barefoot <laughs> to Barbuda with, with Bear, Bear vibes. vibes. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? I'm good, good, good. Can good. I hold your hand? Is that okay? Of course, again, you, you can hold it as tight as you want. Is all right? I'm on safe and sound. Thank you very I think much. It's lovely. I think you can do it. Thank you, my friend. This is amazing. Mr. Independent. Yeah. This is like, yeah, I'm good, buddy. Mo Molly's the hand holder. Yeah. <laughs> and we are off 90 minutes to the island of Barbuda. This is just way too fancy for us. Look at this. Welcome to Barbuda guys. It wasn't always called Barbuda. Um, fun fact is it actually was called Wa'amoni before that. Wa'amoni actually means the land of the big birds because we have we nest um, the frigate birds here. Probably one of the largest nesting in the whole of the Caribbean. Wow, this is not a bad welcome to Barbuda. After a slightly rough 90 minute throughout the Caribbean Sea, we have made it to the sister island and we've just rocked up on our own little stretch of private beach, supposedly the pink sand beach of the island. I mean, maybe it's got a slight tinge of pink, but this is us for the afternoon. We've got some beers, we're finding the pink. This is paradise. Only 1,000 people live on this island. A lot less touristy than its sister Antigua. This is what you think of when you come to the Caribbean. Cheers. Cheers! When in the Caribbean you have a Carib on the beach, they've actually stocked up a uh, like a mini fridge full of everything you could ever ask for. I think we're going to have to try their rum punch. That is always the strongest thing. Let me just try the Carib. This is ridiculous. Bliss. Like the Absolutely. bluest water, the most isolated. I don't think it's big, to be honest. I don't think it's that big. I do think that there's a slight pink tinge when the sand gets wet. But yeah, I mean, looking at it now, the sand just looks white. Cheers. Cheers to Barbuda. I mean, when you think of the perfect beach, this is pretty much it. White sand, uninterrupted, apart from a few bits of driftwood. Not another boat in sight, not a hotel, not a restaurant. I think this is what is special about Barbuda. You can find your own little slice of paradise. You can get away from the big resorts and just take it all in. It's getting pinker. I mean, the further along you walk, the tinge is maybe turning into an actual pink and then the other side you can see how thin parts of this island are. It's just a huge lagoon which is part of the reason that most of the island is uninhabited because it's thin, it's full of lagoons. Paradise. That is generally pink. I think I unintentionally am matching the beach there. I don't know what makes it pink but this is definitely pinker than down there. 
this is us. Beers, beaches, cuddling Blue in the water. sea. <laughs> it's actually uh, a lot warmer than I was expecting. I don't know, because it's quite rough, I thought it would be cold, but no, it is lukewarm. Not okay. I won't do it because you've got the camera, but. Oh, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Okay, now this is posh. From our own little beach, we've got the boat over to Nobu, a very fancy Japanese Asian twist restaurant. Princess Diana Beach. <sighs> this is wild. I mean, if she came here, <laughs> you know it's good. This is uh, out of this world. I don't think I've ever been dropped off at a restaurant by a speedboat. And I think the water here at Princess Diana Beach is even clearer. The only thing is, it's a really posh restaurant and I'm in swimming trunks shut off and there's lots of rich people looking at me good afternoon how are you like Hi. Yes, oh yes please thank you how are you doing thank you very much very well thank you Welcome. this is too much we've just been handed a towel for the entrance too fancy for us cheers cheers this is much better than a Korean beer maybe let's just taste it barbuda punch oh it is so good. I mean, this view. This is incredible. And this is only newly opened we're, as well. We're repeating ourselves a lot. We sound like a broken record, but that's outrageous. We wouldn't experience this normally, so this is amazing. In my element, Barbudan punch and a Wagyu taco. I told you this is, this is fancy. <laughs> wow. That's got to be just soft edge. Creamy edge. Beef. I've ever had. It's got to be the best taco view you've ever had as well. <laughs> Outrageous. Everything is amazing, but we're in a slight predicament because it is quite fish heavy. No, no, um, okay, so we as have... fishy as I get is a prawn. <laughs> yeah, this is not just prawn. So we have a little rice square. I wasn't going to call it a ball, but it's definitely a square. It's like a Japanese fusion, right? In a fancy box. Shrimp, tempura, sushi. I'm starting to like seafood. <laughs> Nobu, what are you doing to me? I'm saying it's good. Day three, day four in paradise. I'm losing count, but after Nobu, we sailed back, took in the sunset on our way back to Antigua, and this morning. We got up bright and early and checked out the inlands, the highlands of Antigua as we went ziplining, which is actually quite fun. Okay, talk to me. All right, let me kick you up first, Jake. You ready? First time ziplining? Second. Uh, it's been a while. All right, just enjoy it, okay? I will. I'm gonna put one hand here. Yep. More stronger skills at the back. Yeah. Gonna sit. Yeah, now. Lift your feet. Yeah. Okay. Alexa. You ready? Yeah. I think I'm ready. Am I ready? Who's the one first? You are her. Who's going first? Who's the man? Go, go, go! Woo! Oh, thank you so much. Okay, ready? Woo! Woo! I think I'm getting it now. It's only taken four lines. A little bit for, for Molly. I don't know where she's gone, she's run off. It was a little bit scary, um, but it was nice to check out something rather than just beaches, which is definitely difficult in the Caribbean. It's hard to get away from the beaches. Then we had a nice local lunch. We're at Darkwood Beach, which is absolutely insane. And we're at the Darkwood restaurant and we have a proper Antiguan dish here. We've got coconut dumplings and then we have dagonut, which is basically coconut and sweet potato sort of pumped. There's together. a lot going on. We've also got some plantain, We I have think. plantain here. We have um, fungi, which is like corn maize mashed together. There's a lot going on. Are you ready? I mean, what a location. Mmm, yeah. that is so sweet. I would kind of say it's like a, um, like a cake texture. Very sweet, but yeah. What a location to be in local Antiguan food. This is definitely quite a change from Nobu yesterday, but definitely more our type of scene, a local little beach hut selling traditional 
Antiguan dishes and the fun guy has eaten his fun G on the beach and I mean I think I'm bored of telling you just how clear and beautiful the water is island life and this evening we have headed down to the capital of Antigua which is St John's to jump on another but I feel like this trip has been boats beaches and beers but we're gonna be jumping on a sunset catamaran it has been a hard life this week this is actually where all the cruises will come into as it is the capital and behind me you can see our beautiful red and white catamaran that we're going to be going on with tropical adventures i don't actually know how long we're going to be on it for but i'm excited for a sunset cruise we've had a beer today yeah one been to a beach <laughs> it's, a beach. Like, it's like it's the routine beers boats beaches beaches <laughs> Hello, my friend. Thank, Thank you very much. I'm Cheers. On YouTube. Yeah, you're famous. No, I wish. Thank you. Can I get two rum punch, please? Two rum punch? Two. Thank you. I hear the accent. How is it? Yeah. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like they're going to be sweating rum punch by the time you Rum punch and Corona. For some reason, I've ended up double parked, but I'm so ready for this sunset cruise. That brings an end to our almost week-long stay on the beautiful island of Antigua. We definitely had one too many rum punch, hence why there wasn't much to show you on the sunset cruise. But we've had a week pretty much spending most of our time on boats more than we've spent it on land. And we did some amazing experiences. Antigua is definitely a luxury destination and we're so lucky and grateful to have been brought there from the Antigua Tourism Board and Traverse. We went to Barbuda, the little sister, on a speedboat. We swam with stingrays and we enjoyed a lot that that island has to offer. Our next destination, we're gonna be back to our usual way of travel and getting right involved. So we will see you in the next one from somewhere very, very exciting.